Welcome back to my pretty. Pretty young thing, and I do anything for I love you. Pretty young thing. So today we're back with another video, period. Um, I thought the, the, the day is pajama pants and this shirt. Um, my hair is a mini switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keeping it calm, moisturized, and sealed, period. I'm sorry I didn't do a tutorial on this. I don't know. It was like 12 in the morning when I did this. So I just did it because, just because. So, yeah. The cute period. But anyways, so um we're gonna do a girls talk today. Um obviously boys can watch it too. Cause this isn't just go for girls. And I just I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while and I just haven't done one. So I decided to do it today. Because I didn't really have anything to record like this week. And so yeah, wanna use a period because you can. Um before we get into the video though, let's remember that the week after next week my birthday is coming the 24th and I will be doing a get ready with me and vlog um the 26th because that's when I'm going out so stay tuned for that um I will definitely have it out by the 28th I believe so just stay tuned um if you don't follow me on social media the link down below is going to be to my social media. So follow me, like my pictures, share them, comment on them. Because we are pretty and I'm going to be pretty. And just become a pretty by following me and subscribing to my channel. Period. So yeah. So we're going to get into the video right now. I got the point. But yeah. So there's my notebook. Sorry it's so white. But anyways. um, So first off. I just want to say that everyone is beautiful in their own way. So I think that society has this image put in, especially, like I said, girls' mind, that a girl's supposed to be slim, thick, and she's supposed to have long hair, and she can't have too tight curls, but they still want her to have curls. So they want, like, light-skinned girls and her for her to be mixed and have blue eyes and all that stuff which if you have that stuff you're beautiful of course but people who are brown skin and have 4c hair or for any type type 4 hair period or have tighter curls or is skinny or is bigger they have but i think that society has given us like self-esteem issues and we think that we have to be the certain way and if we're not a certain way then we talk down on ourselves and we make ourselves feel bad and if our butt doesn't look too fat or if our waist doesn't look too little and if our hair is just too nappy then it's a problem and it's not only a problem for people but it's a problem for yourself and you have to believe yourself that you're beautiful i know it's so easy to say and i'm not gonna say that i have the best or that I think I'm so, that I think I'm the best looking or whatever the case is because no one truly does. Even the people who are Instagram models or are showing their body off or have the, all these surgeries because that's what they do, um, they also have self-esteem issues. That's why, granted, yes, you can want things and still get it, but majority of the time, if you're altering your body through a surgery, um, I think that you just don't feel comfortable in your body. There's a difference between having comfortability and loving yourself and wanting to maybe change some things. But um, it's also the way that if you're doing this, then, and if you're older, what are you showing to the little girls? What are you showing to people in our age group, which is teenagers? We're thinking that this is normal. Not everyone knows that this is... um. This is what boys like. They like the, the long weeds and they like all this stuff. And it's just, they don't really tell you, okay, you're, you look cute or you look beautiful today or you look pretty today and your hair is natural. 
or your body isn't snatched or if your body doesn't look a certain way and i think that's really a big problem with this society and um i truly think that no one thinks that they're perfect and that's not what i'm telling you to think i'm telling you guys to be comfortable in your own skin and to love yourself unconditionally because if you don't love yourself i promise you baby girl no one else will like um obviously your parents love you unconditionally as well but i'm saying like people can see if you do not appreciate your body or if you do not appreciate your skin or your hair or whatever it is people can definitely read that and that's why a lot of people are in situations that they're in whatever the case is right okay so um i think that we just need to really learn how to just sorry i'm trying to like get this glare this sun glare even though my skin be having in the sun but nah, i don't want the glare because no but anyways um back to this you need to learn and whatever that is for you what whatever you need to tell yourself you need to write post-its on your walls you are beautiful you are this you are that whether you if you if you're going out with your friends and you think you look cute, you look popping, and your friends telling you that you don't, or I think you should wear something else, or whatever the case is, you need to know, I know I look cute, like, you understand? You just need to have that confidence, and don't second-guess yourself. You know what's best for you. You know that you're, you should know that you're beautiful, and you should believe it. No one should ever be able to tell you something that should change that or alter that in any way. Because at the end of the day, like I said, y'all are all beautiful in your own ways. Like, And beautiful on the outside has nothing to do with the inside. Because I know myself a lot of pretty girls that have horrible personalities or horrible souls. And it's not necessarily that... Well, yes, some people are set out to be mean and malicious. But majority of the time, it's not always that. It's because this idea of whatever society has us thinking like we need to have these attitudes and be stinking oh you think you better than me and all this stuff when we really need to be uplifting each other we need to be telling because you saying someone posting a picture or whatever and you saying oh you look so beautiful yes they post a picture thinking that they're cute but you saying that you're beautiful i promise you will lift them up more like you understand you don't always have to think that you're the best and there's nothing wrong with loving yourself but you should also love others and you should also have respect for others and learn to help flourish other people's minds and ideas about themselves because if you're constantly putting other people down what does that say about you like honestly what does that say about you what type of love do you have for yourself that you feel like you have to put others down to make you feel better about yourself you don't you, like there's no i'm sorry but <laughs> it's like no way to sugarcoat it or anything that means that you truly don't really love you that you feel like you have to put others down so i think that um like I said, you're, everyone's beautiful in their own way. You need to find your beauty and learn to love it and to cherish it and put it in a box and don't let anyone take that away from you because at the end of the day, like, once you, once you feel in yourself, once you know your worth, once you value yourself, your body, everything about you, and you know you, I promise you no one else can take that away from you. Like, I prom like that's like a promise like i could like never take it like i'm so serious you need to really learn how to understand yourself and to more so how do i say this so you need to really learn how to just be yourself and if people don't suffer for who you are then that's their business because i promise you they're missing out now like i said there's a difference if you're being mean or you're doing stuff to put down people that's different and another thing too is um care for yourself you know not just on the outside you need to if something's bothering you it doesn't matter who you have to talk to whether it's a friend a cousin a sibling a parent an adult whatever it is you guys i think or even to yourself but i mean what i like to do is if something's bothering me and i don't really um necessarily always have somebody to talk to i write down stuff all the time like i write letters to myself like it really helps and it's crazy how in just a week 
you if you work something and while you're mad or while you're going through something in, in a week your whole mindset of that thing can change because if you're upset and you're saying certain things and you're thinking certain things you're upset like you know that's not really how you think necessarily it's more so just because you're heated in the moment so i think that you guys should i think that that's another problem like we don't really express ourselves enough where granted you don't want anyone and everyone in your business but if you have someone that you trust and you feel like you can tell them stuff i think that really would help because if you keep everything in it's not gonna help you to grow and to flourish the way that you need to or for you to every all the time listen to other people's problems you understand like like I said, you just need to find the person that you could do that with and keep that person and tell them everything to and all of that stuff. So um, I just want to let you know that whether you are any size, any shape, your hair, texture, density, your face, your outer appearance, your inner appearance, only you know you. And you know, everyone knows the stuff that they need to work on and um grow more on so if you're a nasty person on the inside then you need to work on that because that's not gonna get you anywhere like i said outer appearance is not everything yes everyone wants to be pretty but there's plenty of definitions of pretty like you understand there's plenty of definitions of beautiful gorgeous everything what one person think about you, thinks about you is none of your business it's none of your business i promise you it's not because at the end of the day everyone's like i said is beautiful in their own way there's plenty of girls that are like they are so the acceptance and the caring that they have in their heart is astonishing to me like it's amazing and it's just like the way that people treat them is crazy like so i think that we as more so a human race um especially being a young black girl you guys need to really learn how to and this goes for me too we all need to learn how to appreciate ourselves and understand ourselves and work on ourselves because another problem is we worry so much about what who think who is cute and this person don't think i'm cute and all this other stuff yes if you like somebody or whatever the case is okay but at the end of the day that person opinion of you should not alter your opinion about yourself so like you need to really learn how to just love you and i don't know how to explain it like you just gotta learn how to because i feel like there's there's no way to live a happy life without loving and caring for yourself before anyone else because you're the most important person so yeah um I think also we like to complain of, like I I definitely am guilty with this I complain a lot and I think that's everyone complains about stuff but like me personally I complain a lot and I think um I need for myself I need to be more appreciative of the things that I have or be grateful that I'm going through these things and experiencing it before others are so that I know how to get through it. So now when other people come to me and ask me certain things, I know how to answer it. Or whatever the case, I can spread the wisdom because I've been through certain things or in certain situations that other people haven't. So, um, granted, everyone doesn't want to... Sorry, I'm saying granted a lot. I don't know why. But anyways. <laughs> um, everyone doesn't want to go through bad situations. No one does. Like no one knows how to cope cope with things or how to deal with things that are unexpected and um that really hurts you or things like that but at the end of the day you need to learn to and you need to learn how to rebuild yourself like i said like out of appearance isn't everything because a lot of times like i said before you need to learn how to really just build yourself on the inside if you're hurting inside it it's mentally and emotionally draining to pretend 
that everything's okay. So you need to work on you and what's going on with you because no one else will. So, um, yeah, that's that. Another thing is um, when people show you who you are, believe them. This is one of my mother's favorite quotes. <laughs> um, I think, especially at this age, like I said, being a teenager, whatever, you're going through so many friendships, relationships, etc. We're just experimenting with things, testing waters. We're just doing a lot of stuff because we're growing. And now we're more so expected to act like adults, but we don't get treated like one. So um, we're confused and we don't know how to deal with certain stuff, but we have to pretend like we do when we don't. Like, you understand? Um but i think this goes for once again like friends if your friends are or your friends are constantly you're they're doing things that know that you know that you don't like or whatever the case is you need to have a conversation with them and tell them because not everyone's set out to be have a mean or malicious act towards it or to be purposely doing certain things some people don't know what they're doing. Some people have no idea that it's hurting your feelings. And unless you tell them that it is, they're never going to know. They're going to continue to do it. Of course, you're thinking in your head, they know it's bothering me because I'm acting a certain way. I promise you they don't. Like, you understand? You don't want to always think negativity all the time. You understand? You need to tell them how you feel and once you tell them how you feel if they continue to do the things that you do not like them to do and you're telling them that it's hurting your feelings or it's making you feel a certain way and they're continuing to do it then i think that should show you the type of person they are and it's now your option if you want to accept it or to move on because and now if you accept it you can't get mad when they do these certain things because you have decided to accept it and to ignore it right so um you people like to stick up for people or even in their even like i said me too certain things might happen and so, someone might do something i might just i'm someone that overthinks a lot i i i don't know i just think like about a lot of things and i think a lot of theories and all this other stuff and i just make up like situations in my head and why the person might be doing this thing or whatever the case is and once again, not every, granted, like I said, not everyone is set out to be, okay, I'm going to hurt such such today. Not everyone's going to set out to be like, oh, Jay's having a good day. I'm going to mess it up today. You understand? Now, and like I said, there are people like that, which they're haters because they know that once you, once you've set this standard for yourself and you had this you have this known like factor that i am who i am and i'm beautiful in every single way and of course you're not going to always feel that way about yourself but majority of the time if you're feeling like that and you're giving off that type of vibe i promise you for a fact people are always going to have something to say people are always going to comment on your life whether you're doing great whether you're doing bad so I, you need to just cut those people out of your life because now it's now altering with the ideas that you have of yourself. If you're feeling good and you're feeling cute and let's say you got your hair done or you're doing a pop and wash and go and you're just feeling yourself and somebody, why does your hair look like that? And this is supposedly your friend or somebody you hanging around with every day. When people show you who they are, believe them. Do not try to make excuses for them. Do not, maybe they're just mad or don't i'm like that's like the best tip i could give like i said it's my mother's favorite quote you need to believe them like people i promise you if once i think everyone has their breaking point with certain people right so if somebody's constantly saying certain things about you if somebody's constantly doing certain things about you towards you that you don't like um then you might think like okay well maybe whatever the case is or come up with certain stuff and they might do something and just like you know because i thought they was my friend and i promise you if you really sit there and think about it and even if you write it down all the stuff that they did that got you mad or whatever the case is i'm pretty sure they showing that same behavior in a different situation and you just told yourself that it just 
it couldn't be true like such and such would never do that to me or whatever the case is people are always going to be who they are regardless of the fact and people don't have care for other people's feelings so i don't think that you as a person should now make excuses for them or accept their behavior i think that you should let them know how you're feeling and once they've decided f you then you say f you too because now you do have no respect for how i'm feeling right so um another one of my mother's favorite quotes is you can do keep doing the same things and expecting a different result so now if you're constantly accepting this person's behavior and or how they're acting towards you or the thing that they're doing that you don't like and you're just like whatever you can't get mad if they're constantly keep doing it or you can't keep bringing it up constantly because you decided to accept it or to make excuses for it right so i think that that's another problem we do the same things which i don't know why it's getting dark sorry guys um we do the same things and we expect a different result i don't know why because it doesn't make sense you can't that's the definition of insanity right if you do the same things except in expecting a different result mm -hmm. you cannot keep doing the same behavior and think a different outcome is gonna occur it's just not possible like you understand so i think if you know that the person is doing certain things or if you know yourself that you're doing certain things to yourself or saying certain things to yourself or constantly putting yourself down and expecting okay well i'm gonna feel good today or whatever the case is or you keep allowing people to walk all over you or say whatever they want to say about you then that's the problem you understand you cannot hey you need to set a standard and a boundary for yourself and what you want to become and stick to it you need to stay focused because there are going to be a lot of distractions in life and that goes for from when you're younger to now like you understand or even adults so you just need to set a goal for yourself and stick to that goal whether that's to do better in school or to have your hair grow longer or to have your hair become healthier or to keep your room clean whatever the goal is you need to stick to that goal and you do not need to be you do not be oh my gosh sorry guys you don't need to tell everyone your goals and your aspirations in life and what you want to become or whatever the case is because not everyone has the best intentions for you so once you set that you got to tell yourself that you got to do little steps baby steps towards that goal now if you're doing f work for example in school if you're doing f work expecting the outcome to become a then that's you have to constantly keep working okay well today i didn't have any homework i'm gonna study and this is for me too because i do that like not expecting a work but like you know procrastination i think that's a big one for teenagers we like to procrastinate a lot and it's not healthy like it's like seriously it's not healthy like you're going to sleep madly and you're staying up all night to do homework that like you should have been did or whatever the case is that's unhealthy sorry but no <laughs> And um, you need to realize that no one else is your battle but your, yourself. You're the one, sorry, you are the one that's looking in the mirror or thinking certain things or, and I, like I said, I do it all the time. All of these things I can definitely relate to. That's why I put it down because I know I'm not the only one. I know that there's other girls out there. There's other people out there who feel the same way. And I want you guys to know, like, there's plenty of people who feel that way as well. Like, you're not just, it's not just yourself. You feel you're going outside or whatever the case is and you know someone might say oh but you think that's cute or but what's going on with your hair or what's that pimple in your face or whatever the case is if you're looking in the mirror and you're like now you're really thinking about it because when someone says something to you yes you don't want it to alter your feelings about yourself but it's human like you're only you can only do so much so of course it's going to like you understand you can try for it not to but it still is probably going to happen so i think that we need to work on that as well and um that's pretty much the end of this video 
um i think that you guys should really like actually watch it i know it's long but um i think it's important and i think that it will help y'all or inspire y'all and i hope it does because i was a purpose of it um and i want y'all to really believe that society's idea of beauty has nothing to do with your beauty you know um it doesn't matter like it doesn't really matter like because everyone is beautiful like even i don't know i think everybody is really beautiful in their own way like everyone has their own talents people are everyone's no per two people look the same you understand so it's kind of weird that we have this idea of what beauty is and everyone looks different so now we're all trying to fit in this small little percent or idea like i said of what beauty is and we can't because we look so different whether that like i said be your body your hair your fate your outer appearance your inner appearance appearance it's just so beyond me that we do this. And like I said, I'm guilty of this too. Because I have my insecurities, which everyone has. But I think that we need to learn how to, instead of being insecure about the things, realize that it's so unique and how people would like to look like you. There's plenty of people, I'm pretty sure, that would like to look just like you. Who will have surgery to look like you? This not everyone wants to just be the society's idea of what looks are. Some a lot of people want the things that you don't like about yourself. Will get surgery, go under a needle to get. So I think we need to keep that in mind that you are so unique and you're so beautiful in your own way, and we need to remember that. So yeah, I'm sorry that I was ranting even more, but like the video is over. Um. Stay tuned for my next video. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and comment. But come up pretty, because if you're not a pretty, what are you doing? Period. <laughs> um, I think I will record me making my wig for my birthday, but I don't know. Because I kind of don't want y'all to see the color that I got. <laughs> but um, I'm going to see. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. But um, I'm going to see. And if I do record... I'm going to post it on my birthday so that I will already wear the wig, you know? Yeah. But yeah, um, I will do, it's a lace frontal, so I will do a plucking video. If I bleach the knots, I will do that, a part of the video, and making the way that's going to be all one video. Um, So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for my get ready with me and my vlog on my birthday outing. And yeah, I love you guys. Um, like I said, don't remember that y'all all are all beautiful and I hope that your minds flourish and grow and your hair and your nails and whatever you decide to set out for your goal for yourself, it comes true and you work for it and you stay focused on that goal because I promise you anybody could do it. You just gotta believe in yourself. So don't forget that. See you guys in my next video. Let's go to Nemus. Let's go to Lennox, spend the whole check and run a play to get the next one. Let's create the vibe, let's not take our time. Let's spray paint the Trump Towers, letters, you and I.